All right, guys, here we go. Las Vegas 2019 SEMA show. Got the passes ready. Here's the entrance. I'll get you real quick. I'm gonna keep you all posted. Be, gonna be checking out the coolest cars and trucks in the world. Keep you guys posted, man. SEMA show 2019. Las Vegas. Oh shit. Damn, that's a badass dodge. All right, man, check out this masterpiece right here, dude. Looks like the Diesel Brothers built this one, man. Ridiculous, dude. Awesome. All right, here are the guys from Full Throttle Suspension FTS. That new got that new GMC got that new <coughs> Dodge and they got that new uh, Chevy coming up. And now here's the big boy right here, 2020 Chevy, 2500 HD. Forty-two by fifteen and a half. I know sixteen and a half with a thirty-inch wheel. Ridiculous, man! That's crazy. Look at that angle. <laughs> Here it is, brand new Jeep truck with the old school front. I saw, I actually saw this on the internet about three days ago, two or three days ago before I, I before we came over here to Vegas. I know, it's crazy. Golly. Look at that incline right there. the Dana 60s in the back. Holy oh, man, this amazing build right here. Old school meets new school, I like that. All right, here's another old school meets new school build, man. Chevy Tahoe with the 1970s uh, front. Z71, of course. Twenty eighteen Tahoe four wheel drive LT K five conversion. Anybody want to guess how much? There you go. Awesome, awesome build. 
I like it. Old school meets new school. All right, man. SEMA wouldn't be complete with at least one of my buddy Paul's cars here. Legend. Legendary car right here, man. Shit. Granny shifting. Not double clutching. You know what it is. All right, man, check out this Bronco real quick. Looks so simple, yet it's so custom at the same time, man. Damn. Check this out, man. I can see myself Boca Chica Beach bound in this one, man, real quick. That's a bad Bronco, man. Oh, shit. We're here at the Dana booth. Dana Axles. Now, what's up, man? And you know they use these. These are show trucks, but you know they actually... They use these. Got the Dana 60s on this one. And this one's got the Dana 45. Yeah. Demand the best, that's what's up. Yeah. All right, we're here at the BDS, BDS booth, BDS suspension. Got it on 40 by 15 and a half R26. And if you want something a little bit more off road, they got this. Uh, this is a 2020 2500 H diesel. Building homes for heroes. United States flag truck. First thing I, I did when I saw it was salute. Suggest you do the same. <laughs> Suggest you do the same. Yeah, all right. I found something that's more of my style, you know. Little, just a small little lift. Maybe this is probably a six inch lift, 37s, 12 and a half, R20. Gotta go, of course, with the King Off Road. 84 HD. GMC. Dirty Max. Allison. Clean.
man, y'all don't even know how much I'm like a kid in a candy store. I can't stop. Like, I really thought I was going to be stopped just checking out one vehicle at a time. And But no, it's just like at every booth, they got a better vehicle next door to it. Yeah, I'm literally right now. That's more and more better than, than the one right before it. Can't even think straight. Don't even know what I said right now. Check this out, man. Jeep truck. Hellcat engine. They got everything out here, man. They ain't playing. Got, got the Hellcat logo right there. They're not playing around here at SEMA this year. Like for real, I'm just, I'm just looking at the vehicles that have fifty thousand dollars or more in accessories. If not, I ain't even. It doesn't even. Right, I don't know what it just happened, but I think that's a subwoofer right there. It says do not touch, so. Got the woofers in the back. Got it here at the Alpine booth. They got another Jeep truck. That's what's hot right now. See, I don't know why those things keep moving, but that freaked me out. All right, we got the Westin Jeep truck this year, 2019 SEMA. First thing you gotta do, remember, when you see this truck, is salute. Thank you, soldiers. Veterans, this Monday, Veterans Day. Just gotta go with the Fox. got another 2020 HD truck Chevy I don't know man I just I'm not in love with that front end though man you know it's a good truck but I don't know I just think they messed up on all this front part not even SEMA could make it look good man All right, we just left the South Hall upper level where they had all the off-road and suspension stuff. Now we came down to the Central Hall to check out all the performance racing and and uh, 
performance parts for the vehicles. Keep you all posted. Peace. Bro, dream truck right here. Here at the Toyo booth. Golly. I've only seen this truck in magazines, man. Never in person. This one for sure. Boca Chica Beach bound, baby. Yeah, damn, man. This thing doesn't get dirty. Nah. <laughs> That's because I'm not the owner, man. If I was the owner, shit, I'd... I think we all need this truck in our life. It's on 40s, man. All right, dude, look at this fucking thing. Check that out. Look at that, dude. Yeah. I need I definitely need one of these, man. Oof. Look at that fucking tire, man. Amazing, man. Another one of Paul's cars.
2020 F350 Overland. Of course, he's got to have the BDS suspension. Overland truck. Check this out. Go stargazing in the night. Yeah. Boca Chica Beach, baby. Ready? This one for sure. <laughs> this one is for real. The third one I say that on. Better number. This one for sure. It's ready. Ida. Gas, grill, and everything, Papa. Got the tin up there. For your water tanks, everything, man. 2020 F350. Here are the Hot Wheels. Here's the one that Gas Monkey Garage built. Came out on Fast and Loud like two years ago. It's out here at SEMA 2019. of the 2019 SEMA Cruise, the parade. That's the very first car right there. Second one, third, so on and so forth. First one just started.
will stop traffic around here. We can go in.
I'm doing great. So we saw this car debut at SEMA a couple of years ago in a slightly different form. Yes, that's correct. We uh, made a whole bunch of subtle and some not so subtle changes, but got rid of a lot of the carbon and fiber and uh, reshaped the sheet metal in the front of the car and gave it more chrome, more of an authentic look. Yeah, well, I like it both ways. I mean, yeah, the, really. the car is really awesome both ways, but the, the owner of this car, West. Custom six point roll cage in it and a Siki hat uh, drift brake in it. Oh, right on. So, uh, you know, right there, you can see they're excited when they are doing a little bit of drifting. Uh, we're gonna so they can hijack a little spot and get out there. Yeah, right, right. Well, Wade Kawasaki here is with Legendary Company. You guys. Uh, <laughs> So Joe, next year we need a sponsorship by Depends because uh, I think a lot of people got shaken up by hearing your buddy's car popping off that road over there. Jared DeAnda, ladies and gentlemen. Up on the front. What's going on with this one? 
This car was delivered from Vermont. Quinn Brothers Auto Performance out of Vermont. This car was delivered by a tow service for it. Uh, somebody stole the trailer and the car, and uh, it's, it's been a crazy ride here. We got the car back, and uh, here we are. So, give me the time frame on when it got stolen and when you recovered it. Over a week ago, the guy had it for 11 hours. He, he, the officer behind us is actually the officer that uh, originally saw the suspect. He T-boned his car with the car. That's most of the front end damage. Streetcar challenge. There's a giant lift of trucks coming by. How's everybody doing down here? Good? I'm doing great. How's everybody doing in the stands?
1275 cc automatic. I'm steering with the pizza pan here. The brake is actually a Guinness can. We've got the gears, the Reese's Pieces thing there. I mean, obviously, as you can see, the turn signals are in the lights in the front. Ed China, folks. Another celebrity here at the Senior Show. Thanks for coming, Ed. Here you are, leaving SEMA 2019. Everybody trying to get out of here. Uh, sweating a little bit, man. That was a walk. Anyways, back here at the hotel now, here at the Wynn. Uh, Este, due to technical difficulties on my Snapchat and on my phone, I guess I was uploading too many uh, videos at the same time. 
lot of them didn't go through but i already uploaded all of them so that way you can check it out and see what went on but yeah we're back here at the win about to uh go to the hotel drop off all the freebies that we got like koozies and stuff like that and uh and then it's on to gambling keep y'all posted bueno bye